What does it take to bring a development project to life in Costa Rica? Well, it's more than just construction. It's about vision, collaboration, and overcoming international challenges. I'm standing on our land in Costa Rica to share with you the steps, the setbacks, and the successes on our path to building our six luxury homes, steps from the beach, right here in Nosar. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm thrilled to bring you the latest updates on our exciting Costa Rica project. So much has happened since our last update. First off, a major milestone for any project here in Costa Rica, we have an approved water letter. In Costa Rica, you can't get a building permit until you have approval for water. And in order for a project like this to get approved, we had to hire a water consultant that confirmed that the local water supply could support our development for the next 50 years. The approval, however, was based on us investing money into the local infrastructure to upgrade it. But we were happy to do so as we'd pay the same kind of fees to upgrade infrastructure in Canada in the form of development charges. And they are a heck of a lot cheaper here than they are at home. Our design team has been hard at work and I'm proud to say that we've completed our construction drawings. This includes the mechanical, the electrical, the plumbing, and the structural plans as well. And we've now submitted those plans to the government authorities here to issue our building permit. Let's go. In another significant step forward, we successfully merged our two lots into one. This has allowed us to start creating our condo corporation for the project. With the completion of the condo corporation and with the building permits in hand, we can now market and advertise the properties for sale. We've also expanded our team of investors, bringing in two more investors to complete our capital raise. Our sales strategy is close to being finalized as well. We plan to sell two units and start construction and then sell two more closer to completing the six units. In Costa Rica, we can use our pre-sale funds for construction, so our deposit structure for our buyers will line up with the phases of construction. Now, of course, every development project has its challenges. We've had some hurdles with moving money from Canada to Costa Rica, and our timelines have been extended by a few months. But we're navigating these challenges and always expect to have a few bumps along the way. Hey, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. On the flip side, we've had some fantastic wins. We managed to add two more rooms to our builds by utilizing space above the driveway. Plus the feedback from our realtor team has been invaluable. We've incorporated their design changes to make our project even more appealing and marketable and profitable. Looking ahead, our next steps are clear. We're gearing up to sell the units and begin construction. We hope to break ground in the coming months and aim to complete the project in 14 to 18 months. If you're interested in learning more about this project or any of our other projects, make sure to subscribe to the channel as we have four projects beginning construction this year and I plan to chronicle each one of them on a weekly basis. As always, if you're looking to become a developer yourself, check out my course at darrenvoros.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.